So to play where your sound files and your microphone virtually and without any external help like playing sounds over your phone and keeping it close to your mic, you'll have to use that software called SoundPad and some sound files to go with it. You can install the free version of SoundPad but it's not going to cut it for what you're going to do. So I advise you to buy it or pirate the software if you want to use it to its full capability. The free version only lets you play sounds 20 times a day if I'm not mistaken which is good if you want to test out how the program works but you'll have to get the full version if you want to use it correctly. To be honest here I pirated myself and it works great. I can post the pirated versions link here for apparent reasons but I'll drop the link below for the legit ones. So you're just gonna copy the link I gave you in the description and paste it on your browser. It's gonna get you to this site, then you're gonna press buy. It's gonna introduce you two options to go on. You can buy it for 4 euros, which is cheap if you're from US, uh, Western Europe or North America. You can buy it for that amount. But you can also pirate it if you're from other regions. I think it's morally acceptable to do that. You can also try the free version of it, but it's like I've said before, it's pretty useless. After you're done downloading, launch the program, create a new category there, you can name it whatever you want, then add some new sound files for it. I added those, and if you want to play it on your microphone, you're gonna double click on those. Last sight. Last sight. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. These all also play on my microphone. You can hear the sounds playing a little bit odd because it played on my speakers and also on my microphone. That's the reason why it sounded a little bit different. So it's also going to happen when you're playing games and talking to your teammates and or enemies or shit. So you can also play those sounds by pressing a key on your keyboard. To do that you should select the sound file and press set hotkey. Then you can set the key you wanted. I'm gonna select P for now. It's gonna play the sound file whenever I press P. Like that. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away! And it's also going to work when this window is minimized, like this. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away! So it's just that simple. So if it's your first time launching this program, you need to set up the application altogether first. Then you're going to go to File, then press Preferences. And the window will pop up and you'll select the uh, devices section and after that you're going to select the microphone you're using right now. For me it's cable output VB audio virtual cable and I've selected that. Uh, don't look at that green check mark here, it doesn't mean anything to me. And you gotta make sure the check uh, the box here is checked. And there are also other options like hotkeys, these are the most useful ones for me. Play previous file, next file, stop playback, start playback. And I've binded some keys for those too. And there are also some other options there you might use. Like the voice volume, Does, that one's pretty useful. And yeah, so you're all set after that. You can use this program freely. You can also use your voice and the sound pad simultaneously like that. Let's go B. <laughs> that was how my teammates heard me when I spoke on my mic. It was just that simple. <laughs>